hey welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you so today I'm actually heading to the Manchester Opera House to go and see Annie the musical uh, I love Annie I think I've seen it once before I think it was when it's on the Lowry a few quite a few years ago um, so I'm really looking forward to it I've heard good things about this this uh, production of Annie so it should be good I'm sat at the very back of the stalls the very back row so I'm not sure how good the view is going to be we shall see but yeah I'm looking forward to it so I'll do what I usually do show you around the theatre show you any merch if I can record the curtain call I will but I'm not sure it's allowed at this one and then I'll review the show when I get home so I hope you enjoy this little video you put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd, you're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that, what glitters and gold. I tell myself I don't need it, cause I'm fine on my own. But I hate being on the outside, looking through a window. I say I don't want it, but I'm so full of it. I wanna be the life of the party I wanna dance with somebody Be ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna be the life of the party I wanna hold on to somebody Be ooh, 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 ooh. Living your life through a lens Perfect pretending You think no one can tell But everything's just So it's now half six, I've just got off the tram at St. Peter's Square and I'm surprised I got here this quick. I always under, underestimate or overestimate how long it takes to get here. So anyway, I'm going to walk up to the theatre now so I we'll get there for quarter to seven, probably even earlier. So I'm actually going to be quite early. So I'll get back to you now once I'm at the theatre. So I'm just walking up to the theatre now. I did cross over so I could take a picture of Marky but I realised there is no Marky for this one because the upper house is having worked onto it. So it's all scaffolding up so it's not gonna be an Annie Marky. I'm at some posters though, so I'm gonna cross back over and see if there's any posters. But yeah. I know. No picture of the film picture that. Plus the traffic's really busy anyway. So it's stand still. So it's doubtful I'm gonna be able to get a picture anyway. Without cars. <laughs> We'll see. There is a bit of a marquee up actually. only quarter to seven so it's a quarter of an hour until the auditorium opens and the bars in here are quite small so there's not very many places you can go and sit so i'm just gonna hang around in the foyer for a bit i bought my program i've got a magnet got quite a lot of merch actually but i've just got a program and a magnet and yeah i'll get back to you now once i'm heading to the auditorium so it's not seven o'clock yet but i think the auditorium is actually open so let's go and find us my seat, see what our view is like because I've never sat this far back in this theatre. So 
I'm not sure what the view is going to be like. Okay. Okay, so I'm on row ZZ25, which is the very back row. So we'll see what the view is like from here. If it's bad, then I'll move this one. Okay, so you're right by the sand decks. And this is the view. Yes, yeah, so this is the view. So yeah, I think it should be okay. I don't think it'd be anything too high up. So I think it should be a good view. day so I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about Annie which I saw last night at the Manchester Opera House. So I went to a Tuesday evening performance on Tuesday the 19th of September. So I was sat on the stalls. I was sat on the very back row because I thought the tickets for this were quite expensive considering it's one that a lot of children might want to go to. Um, I did think the tickets were quite expensive. Usually you can get £13 tickets like at the back of the stores or the back of the Grand Tier but the cheapest ones there were £22 um, and there was only a few £13 ones at the sides of the Grand Tier or the very back of the Grand Tier. Um, so yeah I ended up paying £22 for my ticket at the back of the stalls. Um, I went for the very back row um, on the aisle seat so it was row ZZ seat 25 but I actually thought the view was really good um, I had a completely clear view of the stage I think that row is slightly higher um, I'm not sure if the row in front has, has had as good a view because I know if the woman in front of me was sitting with her head right to the side um, maybe she couldn't see 
uh, which actually gave me a perfect view because I had no head in front of me and I just had a perfect clear view of the stage. If you saw my curtain call video at the end, you can see the clear view that I had of the stage. It was really good. Obviously not as close, so you couldn't see all the facial expressions of the cast as well as if you were a bit closer, but the view was excellent, I thought, um, and not bad for the price that I paid. Like I said, I did only pay £22. Um, often you can get those seats for £13 for other shows, so I'd definitely consider sitting there again if I went to another show at the Opera House because I thought the view was really good. Um... So they did have quite a bit of merch for Annie. Um, I did manage to get a magnet. Here it is. Is it going to focus? Yeah. So I managed to pick up that magnet. So the magnet was £6. I also picked up a programme which was £5.50. Um, it isn't the best programme. Um, the pages have gone back to being quite Thin. again as you can see it's quite thin it was in my bag it's got all creased and messed up so yeah it's not the best program for the price um also the only thing in here is the cast biographies so yeah it's not the best program but like i said they did lots of other merch so they did they had a brochure for 10 pounds which may be a better option if it has the cast list in it as well um it had the cd for 15 pounds Adult hoodies for £35, kids hoodies £28, adult t-shirts for £22, kids t-shirts £18, a plush toy that was £20 which was um, of the dog Sandy and I think the person in the merch stand told me that it barks as well so I suppose that's not too bad if it makes noises. Um, there was a cushion for £20 so I didn't see that. I don't know if it was in the video, but a cushion it says. A bag for £15. Uh, necklace £15. Notebook £12. Swivel fan £10. Mug £9. Eye ring £8. Key ring £6. And magnet £6. Now, I don't know if I managed to film all that merch. I don't know if it was all there. Uh, but I filmed what I could for you, so hopefully you saw most of it. So if you don't know much about Annie, I think most people have heard of the musical Annie, but if you don't know anything about it, it first opened on Broadway in 1977 and it was based on a comic strip. That's what the musical the musical was based on. Uh, the comic strip was called Little Orphan Annie and that's what the musical was based on. My first knowledge of the musical came from the 1980s film Annie. I think it was out in 1982 was when it first came out. I was born in 1983 but I remember I watched that loads as a kid and really enjoyed it so that was my ever first knowledge of the musical. I have since seen it a couple of times on in touring productions um, and I always enjoy it. It's got some really good songs in it and it's usually a good a good like upbeat sort of musical to go and see like a feel-good musical. So the musical is set in 1930s New York during the Great Depression and it tells the story of Annie, a young girl who as a baby was left on the doorstep of the Hudson Street Orphanage with only half of a locket as her possession. The Hudson Street Orphanage is run by Agatha Hannigan who is a mean woman who she's a drunk and she doesn't treat the girls very well. She puts them to work every day, cleaning the orphanage, and she's quite a mean lady. One day, Annie escapes from the orphanage. She sneaks into the laundry bag when the person comes to take the laundry, and she manages to get out of the orphanage. While she's out, she finds, or she comes across a dog named Sandy and she convinces a police officer that he's hers. Um, she does eventually get caught and taken back to the orphanage. Once back at the orphanage, um, Grace Farrell, who is like a secretary, secretary to Oliver Warbucks, who is a local billionaire, comes to the orphanage because um, Mr Warbucks wants to have an off day at his house over the Christmas holidays for two weeks um, and so Miss 
Farrell decides that she wants to take Annie. Uh, Miss Hagen, Miss Hannigan isn't too pleased. She's not a great fan of Annie. She didn't want Annie to go. She tried to convince um, Miss Farrell to take a different child, but she really wanted Annie. So Annie ends up going to stay at Mr. Warbuck's home. Um, obviously, Annie is not used to all this money and she's treated very well whilst with Mr. Warbox he takes her to then shows uh, he gets her to learn she gets tennis lessons and she's really well looked after and Mr. Warbox really enjoys having Annie for company and he decides he actually wants to adopt Annie um, but when he goes to tell her this she tells him that the thing she wants most in the world is to find her parents so he decides to use his money and his wealth to try and help Annie find her parents. So he tries to find them using the locket that she's got and he gets personal investigators and he also puts up some money so that her parents get £50,000 if they come forward. So a lot of people obviously wanted the money so there's a lot of people pretend to be Annie's parents but none of them knew about the locket so Mrs Miss Hannigan has a brother named Rooster and he is a bit of a criminal and him and his girlfriend decide to pretend to be Annie's parents and they use the information Miss Hannigan has about Annie to convince uh, Oliver Warbucks that they are Annie's parents. They also get a fake birth certificate and are able to use this to convince him that they are his par her parents. However, Miss Farrell is really suspicious. She's sure she's met him before and so they, they convince the parents to let Annie stay for Christmas and they can come back for her the next day. So this extra time gives them time to look more into these people and they discover that they are not Annie's parents and that in fact Annie's parents have died and they confront them and Annie eventually gets adopted by all for war books so that is the story I've basically told you the entire story but I don't know anyone that doesn't really know the story of Annie it's quite well known it's also had a more modern film adaptation hasn't it uh, I think did Disney do it so it has been a more modern updated film of Annie as well so a lot of people know the story um so set wise I thought the set was really good really colorful the lighting design they did for it I thought was excellent the lighting was really good on this production and the set was fantastic when you first walked in um it was set up as the orphanage there was lots of children's beds um it has what looks like puzzle pieces all around it not sure what the significance is for those but they lit up throughout the performance it did have sort of a matilda vibe to it actually because they have all the letter blocks whereas this sort of had like puzzle pieces so maybe they took inspiration from that i don't know but i really enjoyed the set like i said it was nice and colorful um there was a lot of pieces to it it was quite detailed for a touring production i thought the set was quite detailed and i just really enjoyed it i thought it was fantastic Song wise, I thought the songs were all good. Everyone knows the score of Annie. This is excellent. It's got songs like It's a Hard Not Life, Tomorrow. Those are the two main big songs that everybody knows, but there's a lot of good songs in the show. The cast, I thought the cast was excellent. The girl who played Annie for our performance was so good. I really, really enjoyed her performance. I thought she was absolutely brilliant. Um, I'll show you her in the program in a minute. We had Crave Revel Hall playing Miss Hannigan. I thought he was okay. He wasn't anything special. He wasn't anything amazing. He played played the role fine. I thought he was okay. So yeah, I thought this is probably a good place to actually look at the program then and I can show you the cast. Okay, so this is the program and this is a very, very simple program. It's very cheap as well. The, like I said, the paper is so flimsy. Um, the a couple of last few programs of Hasbro Palace have been quite good, but yeah, I just think this one's really flimsy and there's very little information in it. So it's got a bit of information of current upcoming shows at the Palace and Opera House. 
they always put in some information on the theatre so some information on the opera house here which i do like this i think it is really good to have a bit of information on the theatre that you're seeing the show in um But then basically the only other stuff in it is the cast biographies. So playing Miss Hannigan is Craig Revel Harwood. Um, he is apparently a household name having appeared as a judge on 20 series of Strictly Come Dancing. I've never watched Strictly Come Dancing so it's not really a household name for me. But um, yeah, he like I said, he did a good job. I wouldn't, he wouldn't, wouldn't say he was anything special. He wasn't particularly funny, um, but yeah, he was okay. Um, some performances, Josie Prenger will be playing the role, and I actually, to be honest, I would rather have seen Jodie because I think she's really good. Um, I think she would have been a really good Miss Hannigan. I'm not sure what day she's playing the role, but I think if I went again, I would definitely try and see her in the role because I think she would be really really good I've seen her in other things and um, she's been in she's been in Oliver I think I might have seen her in Oliver um she's been in lots of stuff so I should probably say there was actually quite a few understudies on for our performance so they put one of these in the program so the role of Rooster was played by Lucan Simmons the role of Bundles, Bert Haley and Ikes is played by Matthew Sweet and the role of Sophie, Mrs Powell and Francis Perkins were played by Belle Kizzy Green um, but to be honest I would never have known understudies were on for these parts I thought the people that, that played these roles did really really well and yeah so I just remember when I'm going through the program that these are the people that played the roles that I saw Anyway, playing Oliver Warbucks or Daddy Warbucks was Alex Bourne. Uh, he was he was good. He has done a lot of other stuff. So he's played Edna Turnblad in Hairspray, uh, Lex Hogan in Eugenius at the Other Palace. He's played Daddy Warbucks in Annie in London and UK tour and in Toronto. He's played Sam Carmichael in Mamma Mia. So he's done a lot of roles. So these were the girls that played Annie. You've got three girls. And we had Sharonji Gnarath. I really can't pronounce her name, I'm really sorry. But we had her and like I said, she was absolutely brilliant in the role. Absolutely loved her performance as Annie. Playing Sandy was Dog Amber. Playing Grace Farrell was Amelia Adams. Uh, usually Rooster is played by Paul by Paul French, but in our performance it was Luke in Simmons. Billy Kay played Lily. David Burrow Burrows played Lieutenant Ward, Franklin Roosevelt and Jimmy Johnson. Tommy Wade Smith played Butler, Fred McCracken, Howie, and he was also the dance captain. So Lucan Simmons usually plays Bundles, Bert, Haley, Ikes, and Butler. But for our performance, he was playing Rooster. Alistair B Betty plays the MVC producer, Apple Seller. Butler and Hull. Martin McCarthy played Drake. So Rosalind James usually plays Sophie, Mrs. Plough and Francis Perkins. But for our performance, um, Belle Kizzy Green played those parts. Uh, Phoebe Roberts plays Cecile, Connie Boyle and she's also the assistant dance captain. Dawn Williams plays Annette Starterby, Bonnie Boy Boylan and Morganfu. Emily Barnett Salter plays Mrs. Greer and Ronnie Boy Bolan. Elmay Wilson is Swing. 
Belle Kizzy Greed is also swing, but for our performance, she played the role of Mrs. Plough, Francis and Francis Perkins. Matthew Sweet is a swing, and he played the role of Bertie Healy and Ike. I want also bundles as well. Sergi Ibanez is also a swing. And then we have the children who played uh, the other orphan. So Suki Hiller plays Molly. Uh, obviously, there's a few different Mollies. I'm not quite sure who played who played the role in ours. I think it might have been Suki. I'm not 100% sure. I was sat at the back, so it's, it's hard to see the children's faces. Um, so these are the girls that play Peppa. Uh, these are the girls that play July. These are the girls that play Duffy. These are the girls that play Tessie. And these are the girls that play Kate. And then here you have the cast list. Ensemble. Swing understudies, resident production team, orchestra, and then you've got your creative team, producers, and that is it, that's all that's in that programme. So yeah, I really enjoyed this production of Annie. I have to say it's probably one of the best productions of Annie that I've actually seen. I just thought the set was fantastic. I thought the lighting was great. All the cast was excellent. And I had a really good time, really enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I love all the music in Annie anyway. But yeah, it's a great, fun show and I had a great time. So I think, I think I would give the show four stars. Um, yeah, it was a really good production. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog. Uh, if you enjoy these sort of vlog review videos, then do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell and you'll get notified as soon as a new video goes up. So Annie is on at the Manchester Opera House until the 30th of September. It then continues on to the rest of its tour. So I'll link down below where you can get tickets for the Manchester shows. Also link down below the official website so you can see if it's touring to a venue near you. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.